the live today. Today we'll be doing Seven Oaks 2016 paper. I'll be uh, working out all the solutions in this paper. The best way of doing it is you can do it yourself or you can pause it anytime you think you're stuck on the paper. And if you're ready, give me a thumbs up and we can start doing the paper now. Let's start doing the paper. The first one is, if you see, it says 39 members of Elvik Youth Club went on an outing to a lecture center, leisure center. They went in minibuses, which could step up to 15 members. How many minibuses were needed? So you need to find out how many minibuses were needed. So the best way of doing it is 39. You know how many members they were. Divided by 15, that gives you two remainder nine. And you can't write that as many buses, so you have to do three. Another one of that is how many spare seats were there? So you need to find the number of spare seats. With the answer, what we got was three. Multiply by how many members were there? 15. That gives you 45. Then you need to minus 45 minus 39. That will give you your answer. That's six. I'll wait for a minute for you guys to do these two. Then we can move on to number C of this one. That's the easy one of this one. So let's start doing. In this, they have asked us is the transport cost for 90 pounds to altogether. And they were, they had to pay one pound 50 for the group to use the leisure center. Helen collected £6.50 from each passenger to pay for this. How much was left? So basically, they're asking you how much it was left. So you have to do a 65 multiply by 39. We don't, uh, we'll put the decimal point afterwards. So we'll do this. And five nines are 45, carry over four here. And then you get five, eight, six. Then plus one, nine, six. That will give you two, three, three, five, two, two, five, three, sorry, two, Five three point five. Now we need to find how much is left, so we need to add one fifty plus ninety. One fifty plus ninety that gives me two hundred and forty. And after that, we are just going to add up two five three five. Add up by 240. When you're adding them up, just remember your decimals points because sometimes you guys forget your decimals and then you get your answer right. So you answer wrong. 253.5 minus from 240. And in the end, I'll get the answer. 13.5 that's my answer so hope you understood how we did this one we just multiplied for 65 multiplied by 39 we will put the decimals afterwards the answer was 225.35 35 then we put the decimal point after 3 and then we added 150 plus 90, that was 240. Then we subtracted from 253.5 from 240 pounds. And then we got the answer was 13.5. Hope you got this answer. So let's move on to the next one. So let's do the next one now. So the second one is you 17 tickets cost 21 
21 pounds 25 pence they all cost the same so adult and the channel tickets cost the same so you need to find the cost of one ticket that's really easy so just divide it by 7 21.25 divided by 7 that will give your answer That will give you your answer to 1.75, 1 pound 25 pence. So let's do the next one. I'll just put this one because you need the cost of one ticket for doing the other question, other one. So I'll do that. So here you are. So the cost of one ticket was 1.25. So you need to find the cost for seven tickets. You just need to multiply that by seven. So it's one, two, five. Multiply by seven. And that would be eight pounds, 75 pence. The next one is if the cost for the calculator is six pounds, 79 work out the cost of 29 calculators that's the same like we did previous one you just need to multiply 6.79 multiply by 28 and then you will get the answer 190.12 So let's move on to the next one now. So remember we need this for the next one. So I'll write it down here. is 190.12 i hope you know your long multiplications to do this one <coughs> so let's do the next one a college wants to buy 570 cal calculators they are all sold in the boxes of 50 work out the number of boxes the college should buy so they're asking you how much the college should buy it's an easy one. You just need to do 570 divided by 50. Zero to zero gone. And when you simplify it, you'll get the answer. S12. You are done with the first page. Now let's move on to the next page. I will zoom this for you so you could do this page. This one number 4 is on the top is here. So in this one they are telling you about Michael has a sum of 10p and 50p coins. The total value of the coins is 9 pounds. How much does he have? I'll zoom a little bit if you can't see it. So basically, they're asking you how much will he have? So let's do this one. There are a lot of ways of doing this one. Is one what you guys will do? You'll just write 10, 10 pounds. 50 10 pound 50 all the times and you'll do it another way of doing is which i would use is i'm going to use it for you guys i'll put, show you just see my way and then see the way you're doing i would say x plus 0.5 x gives me 9 then i would do 0.6 x gives me 9 
then I'll go next, it'll be X will give me nine by zero point six nine by zero point six. Try to remove the decimals and then your answer will be ninety divided by six. That will give you answer as fifteen. So this is my way of doing it. And that was the way you could do it. So let's go on the next one now. The next one is you need to arrange the following in the ascending order. The best way of doing that is making the dominator same. So when we make the dominator same, I'll get 60. And after getting 60, I'll get 42, 39, and 40. So you know which one will be first, which one will be third. The first one would be 13 by 20. Next one would be 2 by 3. And after that you could do is... 7 by 10. So this is your answer for number 5. So let's move on to the next one now. So let's do this now. Number 6. Number six, they have said Mr. Shah had 15, 15 and a half of wire. He cuts off a piece of wire in two, three, fourth and long. How much wire did he have left? So the best thing for doing this one is doing 32 by this. Because we need to ask how many, they're asking how much is left is basically is minus. How we did 15 plus 2 is 30, 30 plus 1, 30 at 1 is 31. Same way, 2 into 4 is 8 plus 3 is 11. So after that, we'll have 62 by 4 for this one, minus 11 by 4 that would be 51 by 2 if I want to make it a mixed fraction again I'll have 4 there what in 4 the closest is 48 is 12 and 3 that's my answer for this one so let's move on to the 7th now So in number seven, they are saying Dan had to walk three one four one three fourth kilometers at school. How far has he walked? Halfway means two by one. So again, we'll do that for this one four plus seven seven by four divided by 2 by 1 when you have divide you do the opposite to make it multiplicate to multiply it multiply by half so your answer would be 7 by 8 so that's for your next one so let's do number 8 now number 8 is in a class of 40 pupils, we know they are around 40, 14 failed the physical fitness test. What percentage of the class failed the test? They're asking you what percentage of children failed the test. 
so you know 14 failed out of 40 let's simplify this one that is 7 by 20 and you know the how many percentages by 100 to it by 100 Take the zeros to zero out. Simplify this one more. That would be a five. So seven is to five is 35. So we got the answer as 35 for this one. So 35% of the kids didn't pass. So let's move on to the next page now. So let's zoom in a little bit. The next one is, I hope you can see it. I'll try to zoom a little bit more. They are saying, a car dealer sells a car so he's selling the car at 120 120% 120 of his cost the car cost 25000 how much will he sell the car for so you need to know how much he'll sell the car for that's an easy one so always percentage is by 100 Multiply by zero, 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 zero to zero cut. Now multiply it, and then you'll get your answer as three, four, five. The next one is a drink contains lemon, orange, and apple juice in the ratio of. 2 is to 7 is to 6. Find the volume of the orange juice contained 300 ml of the drink. So we know that lemon, orange, apple. Lemon is 2, orange is 7, and apple is 6. So when we add this up, it becomes 15. And we have to find how much is the volume of that? The first thing is we will just have to do it divided by 15. The answer would be 20 for this one. We are not done. We need to find out how much orange drink it contains. And the next is, you know, it's 20 you got here. Then you just need to multiply. Orange is here. Orange is 7. So 7. Multiply by 20, that gives you 140. That's the answer for number 10. So I'll give you a minute to have a look, then we can move on to the next one. Let's move on to number 12 now. The next one is they're asking you find three prime numbers that add up to another prime number. You can have different answers for this one. But what I did was I did 11 plus 5 plus 7. That gives me 23. So these are the three prime numbers I added. So the next one is now write three one fourth correct to a one decimal place. Let me just move a little bit because you won't be able to see the next one. So I'll zoom in a little bit and we'll do number 12 now.
So I hope you can see it. Number 12 is asking you write 314 correct to one decimal place. That would be 3.1. And that's right, 0 0.05 into two decimal place. That is 0 0.09. And that is right, 5.97 correct to one decimal place. That is 600. That's all about your decimals now. Now let's move on to number 13. So in number 13, what they're asking you is, they're asking you, write the formula for the parameter P in the above. So you need to write the formula, you know, B is B, A is A. So the answer is so easy is 2a plus 2b. Next, what they're asking, use the formula to find the value in p when a is 5. So a is 5 and b is 10. So b is 10. When you add all of them up, you'll get 30. So we are done with this page now. Let's move on. to the next page. So we are number 14 now. Number 14 is they are saying a square has a perimeter of 5.6 meters. Calculate the area of the square. So let's do it. So 1.4 multiplied by 1.4. You know, you need to find that how you get one, how you get 5.6. So it's when you multiply 1.4 into 1.4 you get 5.6 so then we we'll need to divide it 5.6 by 4 you'll get 1.4 it's not over yet after that just multiply 1.4 into 1.4 that will give you 1.96 that's your answer so basically you just need to divide 5.6 by 4 that gives you 1.4 and then you just multiply 1.4 into 1.4 to find the area of the square and that is 1.96 so let's move on to number 15. Number 15 now, you need to find the area of the unshaded shape. So let's do, let's make it this way. Let's do this one A, this C and this one as B. So we need to find A and B first to find out C. So then let's do it now. So A equals to A equals to 3 multiplied by 5 that's 15. First thing you should remember that 6 is to 15 is 90 degree. It's 90. And then you are you will be able to find what A is. A is 3 multiplied by 5. That's 15. 
your B would be 3 multiplied by 11, that's 33. And to find C, you just need to say 90 minus 48. And that is 42. And you'll say, how did you get 40? How did you get 48? 48 is when you add these two up. 15 plus, 50, 15 plus 20, 33 gives you 48. So just minus 90 here, 90 minus 48, that's 42. So you know that your C is 42 degrees. Sorry, it's 42, not degrees, only 42. So let's move on to the next one. That's the pi one. That's number 16 now. Number 16 is a little harder. You need to use the formula for pi, how to use it. So I'll just use my, I'll just explain to you guys how to do it. So pi into 5 into square divided by 2. You need to minus it from pi into 2.5 divided by 2 and in the next you will have is 25 by 2 pi minus 25 by 4. You'll do the same thing making the denominator same it's by 4, you have 50 pi minus 25 pi. That will give you 25 by 4 pi. And if you want to simplify more divided by 4 and then you'll get the answer 6.25 pi. So let's move on to the next one. This was a little complicated one. So let's do the next one now. So let's do this one now. In this one, a modern house is made by sticking a triangle prism on the top of a rectangle block as shown in the diagram. You need to find the volume of the model house. So again, when you're finding the volume of the model house, I would suggest that you just do A, B, C like we did in the previous one because that makes the life a little easy how to do it. So let's say this is A, this is B. And we know that this one, so we need to find A and B. So let's do it now. Your A, would be 2 multiply by 3 multiply by 12.5 that gives you 75 the best way of doing this one is what is 2 is 2 this is 6 6 multiply by 12.6 12.5 do that way and b is 4 multiply by 3, 4 multiply by 3, 
multiply by 12.5 multiply by 12.5 that will give you the answer 150 to find the volume of the model house you have to add these two up so when you're adding 150 plus 75 and then you will get the answer to 225 that's your answer for this one so let's move on to number 18 I'll give you a minute to look at this one so we can move on number 18 now so let's do number 18 now number 18 is you need to find out the missing angle so here it is so they are saying find the size of the angle marked with with letter a and b so to find a and b first we need to find a is really easy to find a would be 35 same and b is to find this one you have to do it you need to find what b is you need to find what this is first and this one would be you just need to minus it from 180 so 180 first we need to find this one add these two 35 plus 35 and then you just minus it from 180 you will get this one as 110 so after getting that you just need to minus 110 minus 180 and your answer would be 70 for this one and that's your answer for number b I'll give you a minute again to have a look at this one then we'll move on to number 19. so let's go to number 19. In number 19, we are supposed to work out what mean, median, and mode is. If you're struggling in that, try looking at our videos for how, for how we did last week to find mean, medium, mode. <clears throat> It'll be an easy way to do it. So your mean would be, median is the middle one. Put them in order and find the middle one. That's it. That'll be 12. And your mode is the most common one would be 11. So that's your mean median mode. Now we'll move on to the next one. Number 20. Number 20 is they are saying the mean of four number x, four, five, and y is five. The range of the number is seven. Find x and y. So in this, I will just write it down like this, y plus x give me 7, y plus x gives me 11. And then I'll do 2y, first I'm going to find what y is. 18 then y would be 18 divided by 2 that would be 9 and we know what x is x is 2 x will be 2 so our answer is 9 by Two. 
So let's move on to 21 now. 21 is Dina thought of a number. She doubled this number and added 10 to give the result 52. What do you think the number is? So again, I will write it. 2x. Just a second. I'll just write down this one. I will write it. 2x plus 10 gives me 52. It's already given to me. Then 2x equals to it. It goes that way and changes signs. 42. Then x will equal to 42 divided by 2, that is 21. So that's your answer for 21. So we are on the next one. Next page. In the diagram, black square are surrounded on three sides by white square. Let B represent the number of black circles and W represent the number of white circles. So they're asking you need to draw the diagrams which has four black circles. So you're making a diagram with 12, 1, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's see if there are 12. One, two, three, four. Let's do it again. It's not so proper. One, two, three, four, five. Do I have one more? One, two, three, four, five, six. Just make with five and just circle the down ones. Like this. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, one. Two, three, four, five, six, and you just need to circle five in that. Four in that, sorry, not five, four. Just circle them. I'm really bad at this. Four of them, and that would be your answer for this one. So let's move on to the next one. The B of this is. Write down the rule to link the, you need to write down a rule to write on the rule to link the numbers of white square to the number of black squares. So that is so easy. It'll be W is 6 plus 4. That will give you, that's your answer, 6 plus 4. W equals to how many white squares will the diagram with 10 block squares have? So you know that W equals to because you're saying 10. And you know that's 4. So that would be 14. And the next one is if they are giving you some symbols and they say how many are equal to this one. So in this one, you're just going to calculate all of them and then you will get the answer to number six. And let's move on to the last one on this page, 24. I 
I'll zoom in a little bit for you. So in 24, they're asking, what's the simplest number of additional squares which must be shaded so that this figure must at least be a symmetry and a rotation of symmetry? So you need symmetry and rotation of symmetry. So in this one, I'll color this one here. I'll color this one here. This one. I'll shade this one. Shade this one. And shade three here. Because we need symmetry and when you do it, you need to draw the line from. Then when you draw a line after two here, it's a line of symmetry. The line should come after two. So is it, it is a line of symmetry. Let's move on to the last page now. So number 25, they're just asking you, that is asking you, a square is divided into three concrete rectangles. The middle rectangle is removed. One of the parts has been removed in that. And then they said the size of the original square is formed or octagon as shown. What is the ratio of the perimeter of the square of the square? What is the ratio of the perimeter of the square to the perimeter of the n? So let's write down S and O. S is for square, O is for scan. In this you have is three. I'll just put it up a little up because we need to do the working out. In this, so let's do it. Let's start from here. S, first let's found that one is 3x plus 4. That's 12x. And 12x and then it will be 12 by 4. That will give you. 20x so this we found out was of square so you still need to found of octagon that is 4x plus 4x Three X plus three X plus X plus X plus three X and then you do it, you get 20x what I have written here so that's answer for this one so your square is 12x and your second is 20 you still need to simplify that now you try to simplify 12 is to 20 that would be 3 by 5 that's your answer so what we did we first did 3x plus 4x, that gives you 12x for this one. And then how we got 20, we wrote all of this, like this, all the sides, everything, 4x plus 4x plus 3x plus 3x plus x plus x plus 3x. 
that gives you 20x so then we simplify that and we got 12x and 20x we simplify that we got 3 by 5 that's your answer for this one so let's move on to 26 two more left then we are done with the paper In this, they said two adults and two children cross the river. They make a rift, but it will carry only the weight of one adult and two children. What is the minimum number of times the rift must cross the river to get all four people to the other side? So, and they have given you the rift will not cross the river. So you need to think how many times will they do it? In the river and as many times you do it remember so let's make this river you're crossing it the first time would be one adult two children acc one adult will go there so another one another one would be a adult and one adult and Two children will go. The third one would be AC and AC. Then the next last one would be C. Then could be A, C, C. They happen. Then rift is there. Then C, C, child, child. And adult, adult. Then it will be AA, last one, CC. When you calculate all of them, your answer would come to 9. So the last one is in the magic square, which uses all the whole numbers from 7 to 15, including 7 and 15. In all the rows, rows, column and two main di diagonals have the same total. What number replaces N in the complete square? So you need to work this out. And what I got was N was 8. The second one was 13. This one was 12. This is 15, 10, 9, and 11. You can double check it now. And that is your answer. You can double check what they're asking you. You have done that or you have none. You have not done that. So this is how we did the paper. I hope you like the paper. And if you have not subscribed to our channel, please do it. This is end of this paper now. Thank you.